Citizens Bank Court. The Phillies announced that they're going to let about 8,000 fans inside the stadium. So what we're going to do today is we're going to walk around the stadium. Just in case you haven't been to the stadium in a while and you want to see what it's like or I'm going to show you where you go when the game opens. Now listen, I'm going to show you some things. And this is how the stadium was before the pandemic. So things may change. Let's get ready to get ready as we walk around my second home, Citizens Bank Park. Let me just show you some things, you know? This is uh, the Liberty Bell. And this Liberty Bell hung, or did it hang? I don't know if it actually hung, but anyway, it stood atop a veteran stadium. There's a picture of it. And uh, I guess that gives you an idea of how big it is. Yeah. And uh, I, they light it up now at the end of the games at nighttime. It's a really nice walk. This is Michael Jack Schmidt. Greatest third baseman of, of uh, third, greatest third baseman of all time, right? I mean, that's that's what I say. I hope I'm right. I've been saying that my entire life. There it is. See, this is Bag Park. Uh oh. Uh oh. This guy, he's excited. He's like, oh. Uh oh. There it is. This is the Goose Island Beer Garden, and behind that is Pass and Stow. It's a restaurant slash bar. If you go to a game and the game's over and you want to hang out with your friends and have a few beers after the game, you can do it at Pass and Stow in Goose Island. And over there, that's, that's Lincoln Financial Field. That's where the Eagles play. And back there is the uh, Spectrum 2. That's where the... Uh, Flyers and Sixers play, and uh, more importantly, the Harlem Globetrotters. They play there one time a year. Look at this. <laughs> this is the 2019 schedule. <sighs> and I remember the Minnesota series. It was so cold. <laughs> oh, it's exciting now. There it is. Right here, the uh, that's the team store. You go in there, you, you, they have more Philadelphia Philly hats than than you can shake a stick at. That's where you get the jerseys. The you hats. can even get yourself a pandemic crew bobblehead. Uh oh, look at this box office windows. They're not open yet. And this, I think this way this this last booth. If you pay with a Citizens Bank debit card, you get to cut the line. I've never picked up tickets on this side. I always get my tickets on the Robin Roberts gate. And if you're sitting in the suites, or if you got a, a club box, this is where you get in. And you can see the field from there, sort of. They have uh, lots of places to lock up your bikes. That's good. Yeah, this is the left field gate. I call it the Steve Carlton entrance. This gate opens, this is before the pandemic, this gate opens an hour before the rest of the gates open in the stadium. So a good spot to, you know, you come in here, this is where you can sit in the stands and watch batting practice. Uh, down there is where a lot of the good food is. Chicky and Pete's, Cambo's, Campos, Tony Luke's right there. There's barbecue. Uh, you can meet Greg Lazinski. I think he's here almost every game. There's the banners. There they are, our World Series trophies. Well, at least replicas. So if you go towards the stadium when you're at the left field gate, this is where the Fandemic crew Hangs, this is where they hung out last year. This is how it looked. The band it. So this is how it looked when they uh, climbed the ladder. This is what they saw. The Phillies were so friendly. They they kept the TVs on 
for the guys and they had the PA system so they could hear the score. And then players and Phillies personalities uh, came out. Today I was here um, with the Fandemic crew, John Middleton. Right there. Owner of the Phillies came out, signed my hat. And if you walk towards right center field, you'll find the yard. The yard is a section of the stadium that's made strictly for children. A bunch of free activities. Kids can play wiffle ball. They can throw a few pitches to see if they're the next Aaron Nola. That black trash bag thing, uh, that's a, a rock climbing wall. And over there, those bullseyes, you get to shoot hot dogs at a target. You do plan on bringing kids to the yard. I highly recommend getting to the stadium as soon as it opens. And before you come down to the ballpark, please check the Phillies website to see if any of this stuff is open. All right, we're behind the right field section of the ballpark. This is where all the staff and media comes in. So you come through here. You go down here. And then they have two guys right here. They check to make sure you're, uh, you have a name badge on. And then you go through here and you gotta go through a metal detector. When, when I worked here, I, uh, I had to go through the metal detector. And Dan Baker, the guy who does the announcing, now batting, on hat. Well, I'm not, I don't do a very good Dan Baker. But anyway, Dan Baker was standing behind me. He has to go through the same metal detector I have to. That's kind of... I don't think Dan Baker's going to do anything dangerous. But you know how good of a man Dan Baker is? He does it. He does it with a smile. And at this section... Right here... This is where the uh, players park. This is where they go in. The players usually park on the lower level and they go in this way and they go out this way. They go out this door. Some players, they stop and sign autographs. I don't know who, but they, they take the time. You know. It does seem... The less crowded it is, the better your opportunity is to get an autograph. And then, if you look in these weeds, in these bushes, there are some paths. And this is one of them. And you can cut through here. And you can hand the player stuff like that. I've never seen anybody get an autograph that way, but I have seen people down there. So I don't know how good of a spot that is. But if you, this is Patterson and Darren Street. If you go all the way down, there's a parking lot, it's a Jetro. It's like a uh, restaurant depot store. They have the cheapest parking and they're okay. With, I think they were okay with you drinking in there. Just clean up after yourself. And we're back. On the block we started. This is the Robin Roberts entrance. This entrance is when they have like Star Wars night or like the Temple football teams here, they sign autographs. This is the entrance where. If something's going on, it's going on usually here or in Ashburn Alley. I highly recommend when you get to the game, always come early. Always come early because you never know what you're going to see. But, uh, yeah, in this in this little space here is where they, you know, I met R2-D2. Hey, Luke, how you doing? Yeah, yo, yo, I went to school with Zachary Quinto from Spa, from uh, Star Trek. Is that impressive? Yeah, you see? Hey, Chewbacca. Thank you. Live long and prosper. A few things. They have a, it, when it when it's super hot, they have a misting tent here. There's a little mer there's a little in that little white tent. They sell merchandise, and it's never crowded there. And uh, 
Section 116, if you've never seen my video when I worked at the stadium, it's called A Day in the Life of a Stadium Employee. That's where it was filmed, right under that sign. The one perk, the one bonus of the job, all you can eat water ice, right? We both have diabetes now, but damn, it was free. There he is, Robin Roberts. And these windows, uh, this is where I've always gone to pick up tickets. Right off of Patterson Ave, this is the uh, executive offices. There, uh-oh, what's going on? What do you got on display? Yeah. That base, uh -oh. This is the entrance. So if you uh, sit in the diamond club, which are the seats behind home plate, and if you look, there's a home plate here. If you sit in here, these are the diamond club seats. They got some really cool artwork in there. There he is, JT. He guess what, buddy? We signed you. Can't wait to see you back home. There's uh, the Shake Shack. And right there is Passman Stow, which is where we began our tour. That's the bar that stays openly when the games are over. Well, that's it. That's our day here at Citizens Bag Park. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, while you're at it, hit subscribe. Uh, that, that'd be nice, right? And uh, don't forget to check out my merch. My merch is fire. And if you want to help me out, if you want to buy me a beer at Citizens Bag Park, sign up for my Patreon. There's a link below in every video. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll sail with you later. Doodles!